The general election is still more than eight months away, but tonight we're talking about Virginia's race for governor. It seems most voters haven't made up their minds, but Mike Gooding tells us there is one front runner on the on the Republican side that many people might find surprising. I spend a lot of time praying. Amanda Chase has made a lot of headlines, like earlier this year when the Senate voted 37 to 1 to strip her of her committee assignments. That came after she attended and then failed to condemn the rally that turned into a riot at the U.S. Capitol. She refuses to wear a mask, saying it shouldn't be a government mandate or order. And when tensions ran high last year over the removal of Confederate statues, she said it was erasing white history. Yet somehow there she is atop the leaderboard in a new CNU Wasson Center poll. A whopping 55 percent of Republicans are still undecided, but Chase is still in first place with 17 percent, followed by Kirk Cox at 10 percent and Pete Snyder at 6 percent. She is the Donald Trump of Virginia politics, um, and she relishes that. She relishes being the outsider. She relishes being, you know, the rebel. She relishes not playing by the rules. That's her sort of brand. One Republican who didn't show up at all in the poll was the only one with commercials on the air right now, Glenn Youngkin. On the Democratic side, former Governor Terry McAuliffe seems to be comfortably ahead. 49 percent of Democrats remain undecided, but of those who do have a preference, McAuliffe has 26 percent. Justin Fairfax is at 12 percent, and Jennifer Carol Foy and Jennifer McClellan are tied at 4 percent. But I think the direction and the strength um, of Terry McAuliffe's lead is, is pretty accurate here. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.